The Acura TLX has a new face and a rear diffuser there is also a new A-spec version with stiffer dampers, quicker steering, a snarlier engine, and snazzy red leather plus, every TLX has a revised touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that pretty much sums up the refreshed 2018 Acura TLX entry-level luxury sedan, which didn't exactly drop into the market with a splash when it launched originally is all of that enough to make a difference. Probably not after a day driving it around southern Indiana in the outskirts of Louisville, Kentucky, the TLX continues to be a perfectly nice car. It's refined and the cabin is well built, but otherwise the sedan is unremarkable ah. Uh. But there's more going on here than just a mid-cycle refresh. The 2018 TLX is Acura's latest effort following the revised MDX to recast itself as the maker of precision-crafted performance cars, inspired by both the NSX and the precision concept car shown at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show. It's a top-to-bottom, aren't they? D to marketing attempt to better appeal to today's holy grail of customer, the millennial to do that, it goes beyond the cars themselves. New Acura commercials are a far cry from an authoritative James Spader rationally extolling the virtues of this and that there are fast cuts and three images perpetually on screen there's pulse pumping music, bright colors, and words like geek plus cheek, and super plus sonic. There are many not exactly subliminal images of the NSX there's a red power ranger it's hip. It's young. It's millennial. It's also a marketing campaign that has apparently connected with its target generation, well, at least in focus group ratings. If you look at what the other brands are doing, and particularly the luxury brands, it's so serious, said John Ikeda. Acura Vice President and General Manager we're trying to make it more inclusive, not intimidating, more youthful, more optimistic, and more fun.